it, Darren, after last weekend. Uh, how much of a reaction have you seen from your squad this week? I think with the players that we've got, I've never had a problem uh, with any result that we've had coming in the, the week after. I think uh, we've got a, a group that are very hungry uh, to, to be successful. and. Uh, you have to look at their body language and their reactions and uh, how they deal with a, with a result, uh, getting a point against Exeter that are in form. You mentioned body language there, you mentioned it after the game as well. Is that something you've been working on with the team, kind of may, maybe getting their mindset in, in the right place? I think body language is an important thing. Uh, I think the supporters turn up on a, on a match day and I think they look for body language and it, it's quite clear and uh, it's quite evident as to know what your players are, are playing like, what attitude, whether they're showing desire, commitment. And I think a lot of that is towards body language. Uh, and the reason why I was disappointed uh, the day of the game uh, against Exeter was because it looked like our heads dropped when the first goal went in. We took far too long to get up off the floor, one or two players, and uh, we talked to them about that. Having said that, I was always conscious of the fact I think I had six or seven players that had never played at St James's Park in a local derby and uh, I expressed all week and uh, Bevis McGabby done an interview and said it would be a good experience and my words were it will only be a good experience if we win and uh, quite clearly it will be an experience that they'll probably never forget. It must be so frustrating though because it was all going so well up until the last few minutes. I think as a manager, setbacks come hard and fast and uh, I don't think they could have come any harder or faster within the spell of five minutes. Could I have done anything differently? Uh, and I know there's a level of criticism which is towards the, the shape. But having said that, I thought when we changed ten minutes after half-time under immense pressure from uh, a good Exeter team and with the subs that they brought on, it put us 3-0 up and uh, I think the only way I probably could have changed that if I stripped off all my clothes, ran on the pitch and caused the riot and uh, I was certainly not going to do that. You say there about players out of contract in the summer, is, is a lot of players playing for new contracts now? Well I've only got three players in contract so it's important with the assets that we've brought to the football club that we keep them and they remain here and we build on it. Uh, again next year because we've not been too far apart. Success and failure are not too far apart uh, and also expectations. Uh, we had 16 draws this year and when I look at our strength and depth within the squad which we need to add next year, certainly with some of the games like Leighton Orient, Gavin Massey scores, I mean he's well without our budget. Uh, they brought on Reuben Reid uh, and Wheeler and uh, no disrespect, they're probably well with it, without. I tried to get Reuben Reid in, in January, but unfortunately couldn't get anywhere near his, his wages. We, we play against Cambridge and they bring on Barry Court. And uh, so I have to make sure where's the improvements can be made. It's certainly the strength and depth within the squad and keep the, the current group that we've got, which I think are good assets to the football club. Looking, looking back at the actual game, I mean, what, what can you learn from what happened there? And so what can you take forward from that? sure that something like that doesn't happen and repeat itself? I think one thing it's definitely taught me is, is setbacks come hard and fast, as I said earlier, uh, as a manager, and I don't feel it could have come any harder or faster uh, in that game within the space of five minutes. You know, I've analysed it all week, could I have done anything different? We changed to the 4-3-3 uh, ten minutes after uh, half-time and it puts us 3-0 up. And uh, you know, I didn't see that coming. Um, but then I also have to look at, they brought on Reed and they brought on Wheeler. And uh, no disrespect, seeing uh, Paul Tisdale run, doing a 100 metre dash up the sideline, you can see there's an element of pressure to, to gaining a point. I mean, that's his emotions on the day was, was celebrating um, to gain a point against us. And, uh, you know, I stood there and I thought it was quite amazing, really, what it means to managers, what it means to players, and there's pressure involved in that. And whether you're a manager, whether you're a player, whether you're a board member, you know, sometimes people carry emotions. And I think on the day with the crowd that they had, did we manage it well? Quite clearly, for five minutes we didn't, and we apologised to the supporters for that.
when you look at the um, you look at the 16 years that you've spent at the club, and you put sort of this year and the last couple of years in context of the whole time you've been here. I mean, how do you feel that, that sort of the time at Yeovil was gone, and um, wh where do you put sort of where do you feel you are at the stage you are as a manager at the moment? When I look at 16 years now, and I look at certainly myself when I took over as a manager, uh, I was I took over in a crisis. Uh, this year, I think we've stabilised the football club, and next year I want to kick on and keep the assets that we got, keep the majority of the group that we've got, and build on that with the one or two areas that we feel we need to improve on. And I'll, I'll say that there's a the success and failure are rarely too far apart because we've had 16 draws this year, and uh, that could have been different. It's hard, I feel, where I am as a manager to meet everyone's expectations uh, because every supporter, every player wants to win every game. And uh, unfortunately, we are where we are. And also as well, I look at the perhaps the 16 years and I think, really, we've only had two bad years, or certainly me. Uh, and obviously one of them, I could look at that as a coach. Um, and the rest has been unbelievable enjoyment. So I can understand the frustration, but sometimes even I'm a victim of, of thinking of the last three years. And even when we look at the last three years, was that a failure getting relegated from the championship? And uh, I feel if I could ask for probably one thing, and that's let's all stick together, support the football club in a way that this football club deserves to be supported. and. Uh, Let's all get behind the, the team. And uh, I feel if we do that between now and uh, the end of the season, I think we could uh, go on a good run. And uh, the players want that, I want that, and the supporters want that. And let's do everything we can to gain it.